Welcome to Commentary. I'm Scott Israel, and this is where I comment on my other YouTube channel called News Without Commentary, where I read news articles and I don't comment on them. But just in case you're interested in my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the articles that I read, this is where I do that, and the article I'm about to discuss is titled, Sussman Lied About Clinton, So FBI Wouldn't Dismiss Trump Russia Tale. It was written by Ben Fuerherd and published by the New York Post. All right, welcome to commentary. Here we are. Uh, this is the Sussman trial. The Sussman trial is effectively over. That's it. Everybody has said what they are going to say. And um, the position of Sussman is everybody knows I was representing Hillary Clinton and the DNC, and at the same time, I wasn't representing Hillary Clinton and the DNC. I didn't lie to James Baker, but I didn't tell him that I was working for Hillary Clinton and the DNC. When I was working for Hillary Clinton and the DNC, I was billing Hillary Clinton and the DNC for the work I was doing, including talking to James Baker, but I wasn't doing just that. It's double speak. It's nonsense. Michael Sussman is guilty as sin. He has red on his hands. He is a bad dude. All right. Um, he smeared a president. He, he triggered an unwarranted FBI investigation that lasted for years. All right. He has committed a crime for which he should be held in some way accountable. It, it should at least be on record that he committed the crime, that he is guilty of this. And that's what we're going to find out. Um, it looks like on Tuesday, because this is Memorial Day weekend, so they won't be um, Tuesday at the earliest. You know, it's they're not going to be able to get to the end of this today. Um, at 2 o'clock, the judge said he was closing up shop, that he was going... Uh, going away, you know, for the weekend. So um, we're not going to hear any more before Tuesday, and it may take longer than that. Um, juries are known to deliberate for as long as it takes. Hopefully it will come back swiftly Tuesday morning, and I will be uh, able to read to you right away and report to you right away that um, Sussman is guilty and has been found guilty. Now, why wouldn't he be found guilty? Um... I would say that the most likely reason he would be found not guilty is jury bias because they're in Washington, D.C., and it's on record that 90% of uh, residents of Washington, D.C. voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. So they're not Trump fans. They probably don't care about justice, and they just want to protect their queen. Um, even though she is an evil person. Um, yet lying to the FBI is a federal offense. It comes with a maximum sentence of five years, though, I mean, there's almost no way that Sussman would get five years in prison. He probably won't get a day in prison or a moment in prison. If he is found guilty, which I hope that he is, he will probably only get um, some sort of probation and a fine. Uh, if he were to get the maximum sentence of five years in prison, I will laugh my head off because that would be hilarious. Um, I just don't see it. He's too powerful, too well connected. You know, they don't generally put these uh, millionaires in prison. You know, not unless they do like tax evasion or something, and that's not what he's on trial for. He's only on trial for lying to the FBI. I mean, they'll probably just give him a light slap on the wrist, and isn't that a shame? But let's see. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Some arguments. It wasn't about national security. It was about promoting opposition research against the opposition candidate. That's a charge. Um, you're not, I mean, it is normal and legal to do opposition research, which is what the defense um, has argued. Though it is not legal to lie to the FBI, which is what Sussman is being charged for. Um, the white papers were nonsense, and that's what he was pushing in this, um, in this meeting. And the white papers were simply... Um, false evidence and accusations that there was collusion between the Trump organization and the Russian Alpha Bank, which there was not. Uh, the server that did communicate with Russia 
was a third party server that was not owned by the Trump organization. And the only thing that that server was responsible for doing was finding people to, um, you know, stay in hotels. And Trump owns a bunch of hotels. He owns hotels in Russia. There's nothing illegal, nefarious, or colluding about the fact that um, an organization that runs and promotes hotels should be looking for customers to stay in their hotels. That's normal. That's legal. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, Sussman, Hillary Clinton, and top players in the DNC uh, involving... Uh, Rodney Jaffe and others uh, made that look like the Trump organization was taking orders from Putin. And let me see if I can find this quote, which is hilarious, that the FBI says, yes, Berkowitz also showed that another agent dismissed the information off the bat as something that could have been written by someone with a quote unquote mental disability. So um, Sussman had to be quite convincing, and he is a top-tier lawyer, and I mean top-tier in the world. To be a top-tier Washington insider who represents the entirety of the Democrat Party, which is who Sussman is, you have to be a silver-tongued fox, and that is what this man is. He is top class, all right? And... So he is perfectly able to convince someone that something that is not true is true, and that is what he did to James Baker. Perhaps. So, um... Yeah, we'll find out in the future, hopefully sooner than later, but Tuesday at the earliest, because it's a three-day holiday weekend, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Please remember those who have fallen for our freedom and don't throw away your freedom. Um, yeah, Sussman had DNC and Hillary for America tattooed on his forehead, the defense said. Well, you know, that's not enough. You know, when you're billing your client, Hillary Clinton, for taking specific information of allegations against someone to the head counsel of the FBI, hoping that the FBI will start an investigation, you are supposed to say that you are representing a client. You are not supposed to say that you are not representing a client, which is what James Baker said under oath, on stand, in this trial, is what he, James Baker said Sussman told him. So that's the whole thing. As far as I'm concerned, this thing is a wrap. Um, if they come up with a not guilty plea, it will be absolute injustice because Michael Sussman said he didn't lie to James Baker and James Baker said he absolutely did. So uh, James Baker was under oath and Sussman wasn't. So do, 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 you know, so we'll see. There's not a whole lot to say. I mean, the whole the whole thing is, is already in the books. Um, it's over. The trial is over. We're just waiting to hear the verdict. And hopefully that's a guilty verdict because this dude looks guilty as... Uh, so, I'm Scott Israel. This is Commentary. Please like, share, and subscribe. Toodles!